Welcome back, Guardians. My name is Easy Now, and you guys are awesome. But what is awesome is leveling up your alts really, really fastly. Really, really fastly. That's not a word. That's not an English word. Really, really fast, I should say. But anyway, so when you level up your alts, you want to get them to level 40. But your light level's a bit low, and you feel a bit sad about that. How can you remedy this? How can you get your light level up quick? It's actually pretty simple. All your unwanted armors and weapons that are on your main character any engrams that you open have a chance of being similar light level to what you are on your main character for instance i was about light level 304 so i was opening engrams and i got a few sniper rifles that were 295 attack and a few primary weapons that were 295 attack and then i was getting some armors as well which were 298 299 i was like hold on a second i know what i can do here and it's that simple. You want to open everything on your main character because what we call the trickle system invented by the exotic dog, meaning whatever light level you are, engrams, armors, everything that falls and drops will be sort of around your light level, whether it's 20 less or 5 more than your light level. That's how this system works. So once you're a high enough level, you can get all these drops which are unwanted by your main character but still have a very high light level. You want to put them into your vaults. Go to your second character, level him up, get some random legendary armor, whichever ones you want to choose. I just bought all mine. And then you infuse the weapons and armors from your main character. But here's what you want to do. You want two or three of the same kind of light level. So if you've got armors for your chest armor, let's say, and you've got three blues, which are 296, 296, and 297, you want to infuse the 296 one first. Because you're such a low light level, your light level is only going to increase from the infusion to about probably 280, 285, meaning you're not going to get the full benefits. Then you just infuse another one of the 296s, and that might bring you to 290 from that 286 or 280. And then you infuse the 297, and that will bring you to 297 on that chest piece. So you can get your legendary armors, you can buy them, do whatever you wish or, or find them and then instantly infuse them to be the highest light level possible. All three of my characters without my raid armors or raid weapons are around 295 light. When I equip the raid weapons, the raid ghost and the class items that I got from the raid, I can easily get to 303 light easily. The max I can get to at the moment is on my warlock because I have more armor and that's 305. So it's very, very useful to save those blues from your main character or, you know, greens. Some greens are high at light level as well. But even unwanted legendaries or exotics that you don't want that are duplicates of others, guess what? Put them on your other character and infuse them into the armor pieces and weapons. So I hope that helped you guys level up your alts quick so that they're raid ready. And then when you get into the raid, you can easily get raid armors and then all the stuff you've infused becomes, well, not irrelevant, but you're going to have better armors in the raid. So you want to get them raid ready, jump into the raid and get some good armors. So... I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like. Let's get this video to 3.9 likes. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.